This is the Creality CR Touch. And this is the BQ Mini Probe, uh, which um, to my knowledge is the most compact, smallest retractable probe available on the market right now. Uh, today I'm gonna test this new microprobe and discuss how it's gonna replace our problematic infrared bed leveling probe that we have on our LT currently. And that's been used for other Positron 3D printers such as the original version three and the version 3.2 just announced by LDO a few weeks ago. But before we get started, just gotta get my printer out. This video is the first of what's going to be a series of design process videos that are focusing on providing updates of the progress of the Positron LT design, but also to discuss new technology and ideas that are being implemented that might be useful uh, to others developing or building their own 3D printers, and also to get feedback and sometimes even ask for help from our YouTube audience in solving problems and making things the best we can. I'm Jeff, uh, or 3D Prints, and you'll probably see others of our Positron development team featured for this design process video series. I'm gonna get started with our first one this week. You'll see other videos done here in the near future. Fabian or sample name. We'll be doing one on the edge connector one of these days. I'm sure Audiotronics or Renee is uh, probably gonna jump on here and at some point and show us some of the cool stuff he's got going. So to start off with just kind of some background, as I mentioned earlier, the IR probe here, as you can see this little piece right here has been part of the Positron build since its inception, I guess. It's really given us lots of problems. On Discord, plenty of users have complained about how problematic it is, how the Z offset's always off, you always gotta adjust it, how depending on whether the lights are on or off, or there's different lighting, sun's shining through the window, sun's not shining through the window, you'll get just completely different results with your bed leveling. I've had issues with it always being tilted, no matter how well I level the bed beforehand, uh, no matter, even if I turn the lights off a lot of times, I'm not sure if it's a, it's an IR wavelength that is common in nature, I guess, or in like industrial lighting and home lighting and stuff like that. And so we just get a lot of reflection or what it is. I'm not an expert on, on optics or any of that. Whatever technology has been, has gone into developing this, it's a pretty uh, poor solution for bed leveling. So a few weeks back, one of our LT team members, FlexLM uh, or Roberto, brought up adding this new probe that was just released really recently by BQ. Sample name or Fabian has tested it several times um, and had some really good results with it. And I'm gonna test it today and see how it does. So far as with sample names experience, as well as the experience of many other individuals on YouTube that have rated this probe have given a, a review videos and other things. It really does seem like it's gonna be a good option and that we're probably gonna move forward with it in the future here. As mentioned earlier, it's a much smaller footprint than some of the other options out there. And we really didn't have any other options as far as something that was gonna fit on a Positron tool head. You know, a clicky probe would be nice, but that's gonna take away space from your X, Y axes. Other solutions like inductive probes and stuff like that don't work if you don't have a metal bed. So we were really happy to see this. In addition to being useful for the Positron, this compact, tiny footprint has gotta be useful for a lot of other applications as well. For people that are designing their own tool heads right now or printers, this does seem like a very good option. That's not gonna add a whole lot of weight, like the CR Touch or BL Touch or others. It's just something that you can tuck to the side and kind of forget about. We're gonna give this a try now, uh, install this thing and uh, Give it a shot, see how it works. Okay, so it's all assembled and ready to go and working. 
Uh, but as I'll show you right here, I've got my nozzle placement, uh, well, my probe placement wrong. It's too low. So I don't know if you can see that, but the, uh, maybe it was a little lower. Anyways, the, the nozzle is uh, higher than the actual trigger point, and so it just flexes the whole print head. Obviously, that's not gonna give me a good level bed, so I'm gonna go reprint my tool head, and uh, we'll do this again later. All right, so scratch that. I actually just tilted the bed forward a little bit, and that gave it enough so that it could uh, hold properly. I do plan on fixing that and reprinting one, but uh, for now it's gonna work. And uh, now we just gotta get our filament set up. We've got uh, some Canadian pumpkin spice filament here, scented. I think it's made with like, oh look, it says real pumpkin spice, check it out. Uh, so if you're a basic white girl or just a sucker for scented filament, I don't know, uh, get yourself one of these. This is not a product placement, but this is actually a really fantastic filament. It smells so good. It smells like uh, pumpkin pie just cooking in your office or something. So don't make fun of me, but I really like it. So, all right, let's see here. We got a... Now we're just gonna have a uh, just a bed level, classic bed leveling print here. As you can see. Here's hoping I calibrated everything correctly and got my offsets correct. So as you can see, unlike the uh, CR Touch, one of the things that's different about this particular printer, or sorry, this particular probe is that it uh, triggers without making the probe come all the way in. So if uh, with a CR Touch or a BL Touch, you'll see that you'll have it probe and then it'll um, pass a point and then it'll suck it back in and then it'll kick it back out and do that. But this actually, uh, this probe just triggers right at the top of its uh, extension. So, kind of interesting. Those first few lines are looking good. All right, the center and the top left corner seem to be leveled properly. Bottom. All right, this is already so much better. Oh my goodness. The IR probe has been giving me Headaches, just trying to get it to work. And lots of other users have had the same issue. It's really nice that, wow, this is looking really good. Let's see if I can get it. Well, this is probably about as good a view as you're gonna get, honestly, without getting like a glare. Too much of a glare, I guess. Yeah, we've got top right corner leveled properly. Oh, beautiful. Okay, well, um, it's not quite finished printing, but I think it's safe to say at this point that it is certainly working a lot better than the IR probe did.
there is a little bit of issue with uh, leveling right on this part, right on this point right here, and I think that's because I've got a blob of filament that's rubbing up against my tool head, which is a problem. I haven't seen that before, but uh, potentially something we'll need to look into. But anyways, um, as far as the first test goes, really like the looks of how this is turning out. Let's see if I can get a view. Almost all the corners right there are nice and level. The only the only issues right here where this blob of filament, I think, was making the, the bed flex upward a little bit. This is the same Halloween, Happy Halloween sign from earlier. I was having problems with bed adhesion. And uh, you can see this time, it's a very, very different story. Completely level. All of the uh, extruded lines look to be the same width, which means they're all being squished pretty uniformly. Very impressive. And this is this has so many little features in it. The bed adhesion is it's very difficult, and having that exact bed leveling is crucial. So it seems to be working pretty well.